It's all working to some degree. Excellent. Are we oh, heard? I hope so. No one's spamming it in chat yet. Yes, we are. Excellent. Yes, yeah, good. Hi, everybody. First time. Long time First no time. see. Um, yes, um, as you can see straight up, we're a few players short tonight. Um, but we have something just as excited. If some of you have noticed, this is episode 1.5. So it's somewhere between episode one and, would you believe this, episode two. <laughs> so episode two will probably not be airing now until after New after New Year um, in January now. So this is a bit of a bit of a filler. This is for a bit of a backstory between the characters. It's mm. just going to be as exciting and funny, hopefully. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know how many bathtubs are going to be dropped on people today. <laughs> it Legendary. could go that way. Well, yeah. So I hope I hope everyone's doing well on this lovely Saturday. Uh, and welcome to the Infinite Monkey Tales. If you've not been here before, we're a bunch of random strangers who have all got together in their love and dedication of tabletop role playing games. We do everything from Dungeons and Dragons all the way to Masters of Muse and and everything in between. Um, we have a particular favourite for Cthulhu, because um, we all like to see our characters die in horrific ways whilst we fight off with broomsticks. If you haven't caught any of those previous streams and videos, I do recommend that you go and watch as many as you can. Uh, you, you can watch the recent broadcasts on Twitch, and obviously we upload every single stream that we do on this channel over onto our YouTube. Usually pops up about a week or two after you see it here, so see it here live first and then you get to see it on youtube if you want to catch up so if you haven't already please make sure you have gone over to that youtube and drop to follow um and of course we have our discord where we have other games ongoing throughout the weeks um that don't get streamed there are more and more of them getting ready to gear up and start going so now is the time to make sure you are signed up to everything uh, or if you're just interested and want to talk to people who like those sort of games, you can join the groups, chat amongst the people who also like those games, and they can even help answer your questions if you're in games elsewhere. You can also share everything. We literally, we're a massive group of nerds, is the best way to sort it. I would say nerds. Yeah, we geek Apart over Apart from everything. Angie. Yeah. Angie's really cool. Ange, Ange just likes dice. And we have a special room for everyone to post their dice in. And Ange spends a lot of time in that room. And I think she's bought every picture that's gone into that chat room, unfortunately, at the moment. So, yeah, if, if you want to bankrupt Ange, just spam all your nice pretty dice and I'm sure she'll go and buy them. Coming up on Infinite Monkey Tales, um, I'll just plug next week's Friday. We have... Brand new game here on the Infinite Monkey Ta uh, uh, Infinite Monkey Tales channel. It is going to be Carbon Two One Eight Five, hosted by our very own Stryan. Um, so that's going to be one to really look forward to. If you don't know about Stryan, he has his own channel. He streams some other sort of games. Um, I'm sure one of our mods will put a quick shout out for him. Um, yeah, and so he'll be hosting a game. He has been in a couple of the games that we've done so far. Um, so if you've checked out those VODs and you see him, he'll be in um, 
he'll be running Friday's game. Um, and if you want to see who's involved on that, you will find out on Friday. Uh, and then on Sunday, big drum roll. <laughs> I don't. I should have had the drum roll lined up. Sound effect. That's a shame. Um, we have the restart of our Dungeons and Dragons campaign, hosted by Croy. <laughs> if you haven't already followed him, this is the campaign that has, for quite a while, been running on his own uh, Twitch channel. It recently moved over and was the the flagship campaign to start the Infinite Monkey Tales channel. Um, a couple of new faces in it. Uh, and the usual crowd, obviously. Uh, it's gearing up for uh, the next chapter in the story. So if you haven't already, he did a stream last night doing a bit of the prep work. And he did stream the last video of the campaign that was quite a while back now. So it's a must-see, guys. It's, it's a brilliant campaign. It's been going for so long now. I think there's so much history in that. It, it's brilliant. So if you haven't seen that, that'll be next saturday 9 p.m right here this time next week on infinite monkey tales so make sure you're here for that and if you want to see anything else of what's coming up in the remainder of the month do make sure you check out the calendar page on our infinite monkey tales discord um and she keeps it top tape top tape top ship tape ship she keeps it up to date with everything that's going on so without further ado we're gonna get in to tonight's episode it's 1.5 it's not it is going to be a one one stream episode guys we're going to try and do this because we don't want to part with when when <laughs> is that when how we're come on we're gonna try. <laughs> there's, only, there's a small table it's possible yeah so it's just a it's little possible. wrap up um bit of filler bit of, bit of filler y'all like a bit of filler so yeah so without further ado let's begin oh look at this it's over there new fancy thing <laughs> so we have tonight with us we have gem pangolin and a new hero coming into the line as you could probably all tell from the screen red line mm. this episode takes place only a few days since the events of episode one. Gem. Hey. During this time, you have just acquired a purchase of a new property. Mm -hmm. And you have called upon your friend, Pangolin, your newfound friend, mm -hmm. to assist with the move. So we're going to start this campaign. You're in your new apartment that you've purchased oh 141 evelyn street or thereabouts when pangolin knocks on your door nine o'clock as agreed the man's on time fantastic i walk up to the door open it blue balls how's it going please don't uh, don't call me that sorry mr p look come in um I'm glad to see that you're dressed down for the occasion. Yes. What would you want to knock down? <laughs> After last week, uh, I, I was given a very good rundown as to how effective you are at, at smashing things down and drilling through ground. And, well, I just figured it'd be a lot more cost effective if you. I, I'm quite happy to pay you. It's not a problem. But I thought maybe you could help uh, take that wall down there. And also in the basement. Says, in this area of Kensington, everybody's moving out underneath the ground. They're not building up. They're digging out their basements. And I thought, well, maybe you could have a look down there and just see <laughs> if there's anything that we should be worried about, you know? Um, pipes or electricity or i don't know dead bodies anything like that just just quite interested yeah so the basement's down there and then that wall there's going to knock through this i don't really want to have to tell the town planners you don't check for dead bodies before you buy the place mm -hmm. it was only seven hundred and fifty thousand. it was a steal 
An absolute steal, which in itself made me a little bit suspicious. But I got it on an auction. So, you know, that was a good deal. Now, Pangolin, have you turned up in your in your actual full armoured form, I take it? Yes. Right. At the very least, I would have been scaled before I knocked on the door. Yeah. Now, it is... It's in the evening when this is happening, obviously. Um... Like you say, you're not quite sure why this place was so cheap because the whole estate it's not it's not a low end estate. All these houses they're actually quite the sizable, which is very strange. Um, the basement has got a door, but it's completely rusted shut, unfortunately, and the turns out again that the owners didn't give you seem to give any key that fits this door you want to keep yeah. this door well I had a quick look through the other side uh, but it's kind of dark um, and really it'd be much better if we could start running some electricity down uh, let the door open let the place air out I didn't bother having a look I'm not that interested. I want to flip this place quickly, um, and I'll be fine. Um, yeah, should be fine. Right, so uh, you want the door open? Oh, if you wouldn't mind, just, yeah, go for it. Right. Uh, and I'm just going to put my hand near the door and then just punch through it. Yeah. <laughs> very easily, you send this door flying down a very dark set of stairs. There we go. If you want the job done, you ask the right person. Are you are you gonna go down together into this dark basement? I'll look for the light switch. The light switch is right there on the right hand side, just before you start going down. But it doesn't work. No, it doesn't. Because I tried it when I <laughs> ported did. ported through the other door and it didn't work. Um I take out my mobile phone. Yep. And I, I pull the light down and I put the light torch on. You go down the set of stairs that are very old wooden stairs, and some of them have got bits broken off, but they're fairly sturdy to some degree. At the bottom of the stairs is a very small room with what you can only tell is a vault door big metal door with no sign of any handle whatsoever. Well, Mr. P, look what we have here. Normally, I would just jump through that door, take what's on the other side, well, take some of what's on the other side, uh, and then come back again. But I, I, I just, I can't help but be impressed by your fantastic spirit. Skills, would you care to take a look at this particular edifice in front of us? Maybe you could open it for us. Do you want to keep this door? No, not really. I don't think I can sell a house with a vault in it. I have no idea what the con the combination is, so cool. we'll get rid of it. I'll punch this door as well. <laughs> what is your strengthness? Strengthness? Hmm. My strengthness is at about 12. You didn't the door. Well, that's bullshit. I'll just uh, press both hands up against the door and all my scales start to wobble and I start burrowing. As you burrow, I take it you're using your your under your 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 vision to see things. Yes. Describe to me how something would look that you know you could not go through? Well, it's infravision, so it'll only detect sources of heat, really. Right, so so yeah. anything else would just look as it normally looks. So it looks pitch black, so you, you can't see anything. And I, as you dig, you come up to a very tightly knitted framework that seems to run down and underneath whatever room it is. 
and you cannot get through this. I'm just going to put my hands on it and try and pull it apart. And see if I can break it somehow. You, Your strength is not enough to manipulate this metal. Right. I'll crawl back out of my tunnel and just walk up to Gam. Yeah. There's something like a fence in there that I can't break. What you did notice, Pengler, did you just dig straight under it, or did you kind of rummage around to see where it goes? No, I was just going straight through. Okay. Well, no wonder this place was so damn cheap. He wants to buy a house with a spooky ass... I really should have visited it first. I knew it was too good to be true. Damn it. Well, it's only three quarter of a mil. It's not really a problem. <laughs> As you say that, I both can you both make me a perception roll? <laughs> perception. Straight twenty. I'm never gonna combine one of my dice rolls again. <laughs> uh thirteen. Gem, you you're you're very fixated on this 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 some sort of bunker that's under this house. Gem you hear very quietly some sort oh, of... Please go, man, pangolin. Continue. Pangolin! You <laughs> You hear very distinctly coming from upstairs a little bit of music. Did you leave your music player on? Uh, hang on. Um, I checked my phone. Your stereo oh. is, is not recognised at the moment. You've got no signal. You're yeah, Bluetooth's off. Signal. Bluetooth's off. Uh, I can hear something upstairs. Right, I'll go and check it out. And I just... <laughs> upstairs. As you get... What? Where do you go? As you get to the the, the... the door to your landing, you can hear the hum of music coming from the neighbour's wall. 24-hour party, people. Okay, well, this was billed as a lovely family residence, but clearly the neighbours are assholes. They could turn that music down a little bit, but we'll worry about that afterwards. Do I recognise the music? Um, it is young and cultural. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> I walk back down the stairs, mumbling to myself. As... This is going to progress. So you, as you start going downstairs, you notably notice you can hear the music now. Um, it's, it is starting to progressively get louder as you go down the stairs. So I'll I'll sort them out after. I shut the door. Pangolin, what are you doing at this point? Uh, as soon as if Gem just disappeared on me. I'll just walk back over to try and pull in the framework again. I'm just going to keep trying that. Yeah, it, it's very, very stubborn. You do notice well, as you do. Two of us. You do notice in, as you do this though that there's a very, very small pinhole on the door. Oh, excellent! I'll walk over to the door and put my eye up against it and see if I can see anything. It is pitch black. Well, that's not helpful. Uh, uh, Gem! Gem, I need your torch! Uh, the music you heard is it's just the Rajis next door. They're at it. We're not going to be here long, it doesn't matter. What's up? Why can't you get through there, Mr. P? What's up? I don't know, it's something hard, but there seems to be a hole here. If you can shine a light through, maybe you can see inside. Um, I didn't bring a light. I don't have pockets. You're telling me that in this basement there is something that you can't burrow through that sits here in a vault. This could be really interesting. Like, you bought um, it. I'm kind of tempted to stream this. Hmm. Please do not. Stream we better not. Us no. Investigating a vault. No, we probably shouldn't, but it would be great. The kind of YouTube loves this sort of stuff. Um, 
hidden vault. I just bought this house. I, I'll just do a wee recording. Don't be in there. I'll, I'll just record it. Go and stand back a bit and I'll shine a light through and see if we can see right. anything. I'll just walk back up the stairs so I'm not in the basement at all. Yeah, and I, and I get my phone and start to record as I put the phone uh, up to it and I shine the light through this hole that, that's been pointed out by Pangolin. All you get from your phone is when you hold it up to this little hole is on the other side is, is a metal wall. So from what you can tell is that this is a one-sided keyhole. So it's a keyhole that you're looking at because you can see little bits inside, but there isn't a hole on the other side. Well, that's bloody strange. And I, and I get back and I do a kind of selfie pose. I talk to the camera and say, so I just bought this new house in Kensington. It was a cool three quarter of a mil, which was really surprising and very cheap. And that alone should really have put up some alarm bells. However, here we are. And I've done a small amount of excavations in the safe that I have found, the strong room. Very peculiar. Stay tuned, folks. I'll open it and we'll let you see what's in. And I stop recording, put phone back in, and I look over at Pangolin and say, uh, that's fucking weird. Do you post that video? No. Okay. No, it's gone you to my... You bought the place. You didn't check for dead bodies, you didn't check for creepy basement metal boxes. It was three quarter of a million in Kensington. I could make a I could make a massive profit on this. I could be I could be millions up if I do I it, right? I honestly don't know what any of that meant after the numbers. Hmm. Is Kensington a expensive place? I don't usually come round here. It's not bad, anyway. If I do this basement you know, the properly... first bus driver drove past me. <laughs> I just want to look and say, ah, nah, well. I think I picked a good area. I, I, the, the gardens, they renovate them underground. As you do that, as, as you're having this conversation, quite loudly, you hear from upstairs. Glass smashes. Try that again. Still not that loud. <laughs> Three windows have been it's smashed. It's a really good part. <laughs> That's getting better. <laughs> you hear a loud smash of glass. <laughs> I don't wish to be culturally insensitive, but I have heard of certain parties that do involve the smashing of crockery and glassing, but this sounds a little bit too rowdy. This, I hope that wasn't my this, window. Yeah, this can sounded I, like can it I came check? from your house upstairs. Ah, okay, right. Because you, you heard it come, the noise came down the stairs of your house. Uh, Pangolin, uh, I think somebody's trying to break into this house. Maybe they don't realise we're here. Shall we just go and ruffle a few feathers? Maybe it's just those people next door. Uh, anyway, I'll start walking up the stairs. And I follow up. I'm being very careful when I walk up these stairs because I'm very heavy and I want to test each step before I put my full weight on it in this apparently incredibly expensive basement. As you you go upstairs, you very quickly at the top of the stairs to your landing you come across the shards of glass that you no doubtedly recognise as what's just been broken. Glass. This this window of your landing has been completely put in. Laying in the debris of the glass is an empty bottle of wine. This window overlooks the gardens behind the houses. I'll just stick my head out the window and see what's going on outside. <laughs> As you stick out your, your head out this window, the house to your right there is a party going on in the backyard and as you do this Banglin you hear oh look there's a freak show next door and some oh. teenager is pointing at you I'll stick my head back in there's some very rude people out there I stick my head out as you stick your head out, you hear another shout. Yeah, God, he is a freak, isn't he? <laughs> it's 
It's not that common. <laughs> yeah. Can you roll perception for me, bro? Done. It is a eight. You don't see this, but very quickly a bottle of wine smashes on the wall next to your window. It's almost as if someone was aiming for you. Yeah, yeah, I step, put my head back in. What's that on the wall? Um, yeah, what sort of wine was it? <laughs> uh, it, it, it was a cheap B&M wine. Other what? wines are available. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I happen to know that the house next door to me went on the market for sale at a cool 32 million. So, um, I'm assuming that these are the rich kids. These are the these are the rich kids that. Um, Roll me an intellect. Um, intellect. It's one of my strong points. Four. Yeah, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, going on. Yeah, just it's a bunch of rah rah hoorah, um, rich kids, parents away, they've probably gone skiing in the Alps somewhere, I don't know. Um, and they're they bought all their mates round and they're just having they're having a wild party. Yeah. Um I look at the I look at the uh, the broken um, window, and I'm just like, for fuck's sake, I'm gonna have spent 13 fucking million on this place by the time it's habitable again. What the blade? And um, yeah, I I just get my phone out and and I, I just begin to dial for uh, Glazier um, and uh, uh, a security firm. Okay, Pangolin, what are you doing at this moment? I'm just standing there on the inside the window and looking at Gam, seeing if anything gets thrown in. You do notice a few other maybe more delicate objects are still being launched up at the window. I think you need like shutters in here or something. I... Uh, I'm just going to... I can't stay here. My intention was not to be here while the place was getting done up. But if those bloody Rara Henrys next door are going to be smashing it up while I'm gone, I'm going to have to pay somebody to look after it. Well, well, actually, <laughs> I'll yeah, I'll still do that. Of course, that's the sensible thing to do. But um, let's just go back downstairs just now. Um, keep our ears open, uh, and uh, once they're a little bit further on, let's say, with their cheap wine, uh, I will um, pay them a little visit. Um, that should be fun. You don't want to sweep this up? It's all over the floor. No, it's fine. The place will get. The place is going to get overhauled anyway. Look at the state of that carpet. It's floral. Right. As you go down the stairs, you hear another smashing of glass. Going, coming that wasn't me. from one of the back rooms downstairs. Hello, is that London Security? I'd like to hire three round-the-clock security guards, please. Uh, yes, yes. Uh huh. My count number. Yeah. Mhm. Mm That's right. Yeah. It's only for three weeks or so. We're just flipping a house. It's fine. They'll just need to be here. They can stay on premises as long as they keep the place tidy. Not a problem. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. My count. Yep. Charge it through. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thank you. I put the phone down. I'll put my mobile back in my pocket. No worries. Do, do, do either one of you go to fa investigate this new broken sound from downstairs? Yeah, I'm just following Gam. It's his house. Where I'm stuck. Stepped all the glasses turned into little powder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I poked my head in the downstairs uh, room of where the smashing came from. As you poke your head into this room, sticking out the wall is a spear. That's 
No, no. And you, uh, you can tell very clearly like that seconds. this spear has come through the window. Pangolin. Yeah. That's a spear. Am I not right in saying so? Uh, not a trident. Nor no, it looks like all the spears I've seen on TV. And not a long sword. Where the... They must have some bloody adventurers living next door to them. I bet they've been playing that Dungeons and Dragons game like some imbeciles. They're probably LARPing outside. We're gonna have to... Uh, let's go round and... Uh, stay... No, come with me. Let's go and pay them a bloody visit. You sure? Yeah. I'm just gonna take the spear onto the wall and the follow gun. <laughs> okay. Are you going out the back or are you going out around the front? You're going out the front. So you walk up to the front of this house and as you get there, you, you see there are teenagers going in and out of this house. There's a few of them sat at the front of the house drinking and the music is blaring out of this house. That doesn't bother me. The people throwing stuff does. Um, so I walk, I walk into the house, um, and I look for somebody. Who's at the centre of attention? Is it happening in the garden? At the centre of attention is in, in in the front room where there is currently a keg of alcohol. Right. We're not going to get any sense here. And I look at Kim. Um, no, you're good. Uh, look at look at Pangolin. <laughs> Everyone's doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> look at Pangolin, and uh, and I motion through to the back garden. Right. I follow him through. I'm not being very careful with this spear. I'm just scraping it against everything in the wall. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting some strange looks. Um, I'm not surprised. <laughs> he, one guy actually tells you, goes, Right on, man! As you walk I'll back. wave the spear in response. But they don't seem scared or anything. And as, as you walk through this corridor, I think you, you understand why when a person in a dinosaur costume passes you in the corridor. <laughs> And he's, he, Good costume. He hasn't got a spear though, he, but he has got what you can only guess is some sort of Roman shield in his hand. I'll just hold the spear up to me and go, this yours? Oh yeah, dude! Oh, I thought I lost that! Cheers! There you go. And he, he takes it off you and then he goes, BUNNY! And, and carries on. And he seems to have some sort of a conga line following him. Right, I got rid of the spear. Um, you, you both actually start to notice this as you as you look around the room. Quite a few people have actually got these weapons. All of them, which are all they're all medieval, like spears, clubs, shields, and whatnot. The odd occasional person has even got like a helm on or a, a breastplate. Renaissance spears. Got to love it. Fit the theme in here. I think we might be slightly overdressed. Well, you anyway. Uh, look, these are just kids. They're going to have to shite. And, and it's at this point... Yeah, that somebody bumps into you. Yeah, and I turn around to see... Like, is it kind of deliberate and trying to get my attention, or is it just somebody bustling to the toilet? It's probably somebody just... I don't know. Red yeah. line? What um, are you doing? Um, well, you turn around, you see a strangely tall um, woman with uh, green hair, green hair? With green eyes, ginger <laughs> hair, probably with a drink in hand, looking around as if not 100% sure what's going on, but in, along for the ride. And they just sort of, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I try to move past you. Perception. Can I can I just check out? First of all, it's a woman, and she sounds like she might be quite attractive. 
Yeah. So that's cool. Um, but secondly, she looks different from the other people that are here. So can I perceive? Can I use my perception just to figure out if if she's if she is actually unlike the others? Um, does she fit in? Is she potentially one of us mutant types? You can roll perception. Because she doesn't look like anybody else. She looks more like Pangolin in that regard. Fucking rolls eight. Looks like a normal person at the party. Okay, I, I are up and down. Um, and smile at her and notice her green eyes. Um, and say... I don't suppose you know who's running this party, do you? I have no idea. I don't remember getting here, to be completely honest. This one thing led to the other, and now here I am. Where's your costume? What? <laughs> Smooth. I mean, the, they're all wearing costumes. This costume oh, yeah. party. I, I, uh, well, I, uh, I didn't have time to get one. Right. It's... That makes sense. Bangling. This, apart from this guy in the dinosaur, you've seen nobody else in a costume. Everyone else is wearing casual clothes. A few of them are wearing branded jackets that all match. That's a costume. <laughs> shields and... But you said shields and spears. Yeah, some of them have got shields and spears. Okay. And then there's a group of these young lads that all seem to have the same sort of jacket on. Good fashion sense. Efficient wardrobing, fantastic. Uh, you really don't know who's in charge then? Uh, and, I, and I just, uh, I are up and down again and just walk towards the back garden where the troublemakers were. Have they stopped throwing things at my, at my house? Uh, as you walk out, you see that there is now a, a vent on the who can get things through your window. There's a what on my, what? <laughs> so the <laughs> Attacking bats. There's literally a group of young kids in the corner who have wrote on the fencing what you can only can tell is odds. <laughs> and they're launching things at your window. Fucking hell. Ooh. I want to get in on this. Yeah, I go down. I go down as well. Um, I, and I hear, I hear Pangolin say a, that and I'm like, and I'm a, like, yeah, let... There's a guy stood with the chalk writing on the odds carrying a flag. And it's, okay. it's a very old flag from what you can tell, but he seems to be the one taking the odds and then judging people as they throw things. Yeah, so I, I hear I hear Pangolin say that and we're like, come on, let's go and have some fun with these pissants. Right. Redline, do you want to follow them or are you going to mingle in with the party? This guy is huge and blue, I'm going to follow him. Okay. <laughs> Chan has decided. Chaz has decided that Pangolin is now blue. <laughs> so walk down into yep. the garden, past the, the, the revelers. All right, guys, you want to take it on? Pound a bit. Yeah. Pound. Draw something. Go on then. Yeah, oh, pound. Yeah. Right. So let me pound. And then he says, he says, right, these are your odds. Quite simple, mate. Cost you a pound. You pick what you think you can get through the window. Odds are on the uh, item. And as you look, it starts off with toilet roll. <laughs> one, one, one to R. And then as you work your way down, you get like some normal like bottles of wine and stuff at one to one ratios. Then you get things like cannonballs. One to fifty. Well, I think you should go for one of them. And at the very bottom. Him. One to two hundred. I reckon I'd throw a gym. Well, it's probably worth more than the windows they're smashing, so go for it. What do you want to throw, guys? Hurry What's up, the biggest thing you've got? The biggest thing's our gym here. And stood behind him is what you can only describe as one of the most unhealthiest people at the party, who is literally sat on a chair scoffing at a coffee table next to him with a load of food. And you, you can guess that he probably weighs circa 25 stones. Right. I probably shouldn't be throwing a person at your house. 
I mean, at the house, the target. Approach and throw a person at the wall. Where's your cannonballs? Cannonballs are on the floor, mate. If you think you can uh, launch one. I'll just reach down and grab one in each hand. <laughs> yep. And I, and right. I whisper, I whisper in um, again, uh, in, uh, in Pangolin's ear, and, uh, and I say, see if you can, see if you can get it through the window and start on that wall that we talked about. I'll. <laughs> oh. I will attempt to position myself such that I'm sort of aiming towards the wall that Gem wants to not be there. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you're throwing them through the window, can you do me a dexterity or any throwing related skill you might have? I do intend to throw them through the window. What? The, like the, throwing. the first cannonball you throw hits the wall <laughs> and dislodges a brick. Oh, good throw, mate. No one's actually hit the house yet. One another. Your odds no, are different now, though. Ah. Well, uh, and he quickly this crosses, cannonball is hard to throw the other cannonball. He quickly crosses out the 1 to 50 on the cannonball and puts 25. Not sure about this. Yeah. I'll just shrug and throw the other one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this cannonball hits the gutter and smashes the gutter pipe off the wall. You're gonna need someone to fix that. Unlucky yeah. mate, you want another go? You've got a good arm, you. Even in that got costume. You don't hot. It's very hot. As you say that, a bucket of cold water ice is poured over you. Oh, that's nice. That's much better. And two lads are just showing Party! They run off with the empty bucket. Party! I'll grab another cannonball. Grab another cannonball? Would you like to roll a dexterity? <laughs> Keep rolling throwing it, it's not working out for me. It's not like I have ranks in it. You, <laughs> you overthrow this. Um, you actually go above the window. <laughs> smash the roof tiles of the house. You're going to need someone in for that as well. Um, Gems Jesus, just... mate, I might put the off back up, actually. Never mind. Gems just looking at it going, <laughs> I, I reckon those tiles were actually okay, but uh, whatever. Come on, Gem, do better. I tighten it and I go to, no, I go to the I'm guy. And so, I go to the guy. Uh, for fuck's sake. Go, I go to Pangolin <laughs> and say, Hit this one, will you? And um, I, I go to the guy that's taking the odds, and I'll say, um, "Look, pound. Uh, what? You're drinking shit wine. Yeah. You've got crap music. Right. Let's make this. Let me. Look, I'll tell you what. Fifty quid says you'll get the next one through the window. Oh, mate, I, I, I'm not in control here. I, I'm just here to facilitate. If you want right. to up the odds, you need to go speak to John. I'll go and speak to John then. Where uh, is he? He's in the basement, hanging, uh, handing out the memorabilia. Oh, the memorabilia? Yeah! Memorabilia. Looks like you've already Unwind. got some, mate. I just walk away from him. Gem, go for it. Throw it. No, you're Gem, I'm Penguin. <laughs> oh, for <laughs> I Do you want to write it down no. somewhere? <laughs> uh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. <laughs> Hang on a minute. You guys been drinking? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sleep deprived. That's my excuse. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. <laughs> Can I get access to Pangolin's sheep, please? <laughs> Do not change my name. <laughs> uh, I will put. I will put. I will put the Twitch in front of me. There we go. I can see your face now with our Pangolin <laughs> underneath it. That'll do it. I look at Pangolin. Pangolin, and I say it Pangolin, oh, go on, get it done. Right, don't grab another cannonball. Yep, roll you seem to have a lot of these. And I wind up and lob it. Finally. This one, it, it, it does manage to go through the window. Got one. And as it does, you hear an almighty crash. Got your wall. 
Nice shot, mate! And the guy hands you 25 quid. Right, I'll just have that again. You're the one who isn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, take the money as we're walking back up the garden towards the house, the back door, and to find this John character that we're looking for. The, the, the house layout is pretty much identical to yours, so you know exactly where the door to the basement's going to be and everything. But this door isn't metal, right? No, not yet. You're still on the ground floor. You've not gone down to the basement yet. You, there's a lot of people in the way. There's, there's almost like a queue going into the basement, and... You do see, every few seconds, a guy comes up from the basement with a weapon or a, a piece of memorabilia. What sort of memorabilia is it? It's all, from what you can tell, everything that's coming up, it's like stuff you'd expect in a museum. It's like, you know, it, it's old stuff. like. Almost like Roman like stuff. Weapons and shields and armors and whatnot. <coughs> Red line, as this happens, as, as you're, I take it you're still following them. Oh, yeah. Can you roll me a perception? Um, that was really fun. Yep. <clears throat> you notice just as you're walking, there is a bunch of lads who are running towards Pangley from behind. But then they're in like a bit of a huddle. They don't. They don't seem like they're. They're, they're aiming for him. They're kind of all huddled up and like messing, but they they are heading for Pangley directly. Um, I'm going to tap him and say, Hey, there's a bunch of guys running at you, you know. Oh, turn around. What? Oh. As you turn around, Baglid, these bunch of four lads crash into you. Can you roll me a strength check? I'm pretty sturdy. <laughs> I know you're pretty sturdy. <laughs> yeah. So, so they crash into you, but you've got a good footing. You don't move, but you can almost swear you hear something crack on one of these lads as Ow. they crunch into. Oh, you. oh, oh! That's not me. Right. Oh, sorry, I'm mate. Just, didn't see that. I was going to start sort of rushing slightly downstairs, <laughs> not looking like I'm running, but walking slightly faster than normal downstairs. As you, as you go down these stairs, at the bottom of the stairs, it's almost identical to your house. Not his house. T -t to Gem's house, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and at the, the bottom of the stairs, there's this wall. But there isn't a door in this place, but there is a hole in the wall. And the queue of people are going into this room. Oh. The whole, uh, like, helpfully point is out again. Uh, um, wait. We're down in the basement. Yep. And where is the hole in relation to the stairs as we alight from them? So as you, as you go down the stairs, they have a little bit of a basement. And then the same wall that you had in your basement seems to be running through into theirs. Except for there's somewhat of a hole in the wall to, that goes into this mysterious room. So it's almost like this vault that was on your basement has stretched under their house as well. Got you. And they've got a hole in it that can see what's right. Yeah. So. I, um, and I'll look at Pangolin and... Is, is um, the red-haired lady following us? Uh, yep, yeah, I'm behind you. 
and I, and I look at her, um, and I was like, do you, do you know what's going on in there? Um, a shrug. I could Wait. check it out. Why'd you keep following us? This is weird. Well, it's kind of boring. You're kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, fair. You want me to go check it out? I stand back and gesture, ladies first. I'll, uh, I'll head into the hole, ignoring all the people who are lining up. I mean, there's a what queue, happened? shouldn't we wait? And I follow her. <laughs> I'm just going to stand at the back of the queue. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you attempt to cut this queue, quite a few of the people who are queuing stop you and reach out and be like, Oi, you think this is test cores? You can't oh, no, come sorry, to you here. Me. I'm, getting, I'm bringing him his drink. He asked me to bring him a drink. Oh, yeah, I bet you're bringing him a drink. Go on, love, you can get past. Go on, we'll let you through. <laughs> I follow. Oh, excuse me. Pensioners Club's next door, mate. Thank you. You're in do the they wrong place. Do they try and stop me? Yes, they, they do. One guy does try and stop you. How does he try and stop me? He's stood in front of you at the mm -hmm. top of the stairs, my dad. And he's put his hand out like, Oh, you can't go through it. I just push past him. Violently or did you push Assertively. Him? Assertively. <laughs> As you do, he grabs onto you. Or oh, does he know? And you also feel some hands grab your shoulders from behind. Um, I don't really want to kill these guys, but <laughs> I really, well, I'm well, glad we opened with that. <laughs> but that's what's going through my mind. Um, that's what's going through my mind. Uh, I just I go into self-defense mode, um, and I recall my extensive training in um, martial arts of various forms, and uh, I use whatever move is required in order to quickly and deftly remove the hand from my shoulder. But it's done in such a way that it makes me look like I know what I'm doing when it comes to fighting. I'm not being like overly cocky, I'm just being quick, I'm being effective, and I'm taking the minimum amount of movement to do so um, and, and disengage from that person. To roll your martial arts, and I'll give you an advantage of this. It's um, taking forever. <laughs> Anglin, as you're stood there, um, somebody comes past and offers you a drink. Yes, please. All right, take man. That I've got. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a pint of lager. Yeah. Um, hang on, I'm still looking. I've never had to use this before. Uh, Bottom left. Hang on. Hand. Uh, you should just be able to click the little dice next to your skill. All right, got it. There it is. Let's see it. Over yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't even think you needed the advantage, to be honest. Um, quite easily to do exactly what you need. So, these guys back off like, Oh, look, calm down, mate. Jesus. You didn't that much. Come on, go get your... Whatever. Just a party. I just and I walk, I walk behind the, the red-haired lady. Has she, she hasn't reduced herself yet, has she? No. No. All right, so I just follow her. I, I, and just as you do, you feel a um, an empty tin cap hit you on the back of the head. I just. And you just hear in the background. No, <laughs> <laughs> And continue to duck down, duck under the, the, the opening, and yep. and I say, Gam! No, you're Gam. You're Gam. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're not on to three people. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, That's it. <clears throat> It's not even meant to be part of tonight's episode. This. I say, Paglum. <laughs> Mr. P, I say. Behind you, but if you shouted it, you'd probably just about hear you. Yeah, I wrote a shout. Are you coming? 
cry. And I'll just walk out of the queue and walk to where I again went down. Yeah. Um, no one seems to challenge you, Panel. I wonder why. <laughs> I'm still drinking this lager as I go down. Yeah, okay. You get to the bottom of the stairs into the basement, and in front of you is this hole. The hole's only big enough for one person to get through, so the queue kind of stops a bit for the hole to allow people in and out. You still can't quite see what's on the other side. There's a hole there. I'll go through the hole. As you look at this hole, the, the wire in the mesh is all bent outwards. This mesh wall, whatever it was, you can tell that what whatever caused this hole burst out of this wall. Does it look like it's just been forced open or are there like cut marks or anything? Roll me perception. Focus on it. Looks like a hole! Uh, anyone I'll, else I'll want to through. look at this hole in more detail? I'm just following them. Just bothered about yeah, going through. I'm just going through, yeah. I, uh, I guess Panklin would be interested in it because he can smash it. Mm. And I say to him, eh, Panklin, whatever you were talking about being strong, it looks like somebody stronger has done something to this. Right. Maybe we should have hired them. As you get to this hole, on the other side you can start to see a... into this room. You can see there's a lot of damaged crates that are all charred. And the floor on the... looks like the inside of this room that you can see from outside the hole. It's all black. Very sooty. Is this your stuff? You're not, you're not, you can't, you've not gone through the hole yet. You, you, li you, you probably just stood at the hole. This hole is, it's not like huge. You're talking, it's probably about shoulder width. <clears throat> it goes straight down. Very, it's a very jagged hole. Uh, I tap the last few on the shoulder in front of me. Yeah, what? Are you going in? Yeah, right. Hold this. I hope past the drink for you. And I turn around and pass it to Pangolin. Oh, another drink. I start drinking both. Red line. I, I, as you go through this hole, you enter a room that's quite large. And from what you can tell, is it goes maybe two or three houses in each direction. You're almost like in the middle. Around where the hole is, there is just destruction. Broken crates, damaged bits of metal and everything. But then, in the other rest of the room, you see there are some crates that aren't even opened and that just look ro 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 uh, rotted and dusty. And around this room, there are several people just rummaging through everything. And then there's just this one guy stood in the middle, brandishing a big long sword, shouting at people. Check that! Have a look at this! Go over there, there's something good in that corner. And he, he's, so he's also got a big red cape on. I'll go over to him and I'll say... Alright, love! Enjoy the party! What, 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 uh, yeah, it's alright, what's going on? What's, uh, oh, just what, go find what, anything you want. One item per person. Don't kill anyone. Not on my premises, if you don't mind. Do you, what, is this your party? Is this your house? Oh, well... Possibly, yeah. Technically, maybe. I don't know. Paperwork's not come through yet. Oh, uh, you know... Studying at the local uni and needed a place, and parents thought I could have this place, and uh, found this. 
straight in it. But you made the hole. No, that was there when we got here. Bloody dangerous thing though. It took took us a while to even come into it. The basement door was almost locked from the other side. Bloody owners didn't give us a key. Nobbers. Do you want a what, weapon? What, what is that? Um, is there anything cooler? Like, oh, stuff there's, that's there's like so cooler. much stuff in here. Everyone seems to be going for all the really old stuff, but there's some more, more modern war stuff over in that corner if you want. And he gestures to the other end past the hole. Is there anybody else to walk down that way? Oh, there's a few people down there, but everyone seems to be up at the end that's underneath Gem's house. There seems to be more shinier things, whereas the other end it's more greener things. It looks almost like more modern military equipment, maybe? Okay. I'm going to poke my head back out of the hole and say it again. Hey, you! The one who keeps calling everyone again, um, I think you should come in here. I don't know what's... I, I don't know what's going on, but there's a lot of weapons in here. And this doesn't seem good. Uh, I, I think we need to have a chat. And the big guy, if he can get in. I, I reach through, kind of stretch into through the hole and appear, having been summoned. Um, and look around. What's lighting the place? Um, they have all the kids have got their phones out with their torches lit up. There's a few candles scattered around, um, and there's a couple of torches that are on the floor. And it's, it's not brightly lit this room. <laughs> Very, but there is dim light enough. You can <coughs> see pretty much the same as what I just said. Hi. Oh, Interesting. And I look back at the hole. Does it still look like something's exploded out from the inside? From where you look, from the inside, all the what, it looks like there was an explosion in that corner where the hole was. And there's bits that have been flung all over. And as you study, you can clearly see that there was clearly something there that's exploded and created the hole. And I walk up to the red-haired lass, and, and is, you, is she standing next to this character with the sword? Yep. I, I'd probably pull you <laughs> in, in and away in. towards the more modern stuff, so yep. there's less people around. Um, um, yeah. I'll just say to you, right, listen, I don't know what's going on, but if these are weapons, there's apparently modern stuff down there, and all sorts of stuff that's probably going to stab people or probably get some people killed. But if there's guns, well, this is bad. And you and your friends, I mean, you don't seem, I mean, he's not subtle, and it doesn't look like a costume to me. I've seen costumes. I think we need to do something about this. And I think you know what I'm talking about, and I think you can help. Uh, I was just really wanting people to stop throwing cannonballs through my window, <laughs> apart from apart from Pangolin there. Uh, if he chooses that as his weapon of choice to knock down the walls and do some interior renovation, that's fine by me. Uh, what and I look over. when they stop throwing cannonballs and start firing bullets or rockets or whatever's down in here? Aye, yeah, you have a point. Um, besides, this is on my half of the... Do I know that this is on my basement? Have I figured yeah, that out? Yeah, you can tell from the way the basement runs. It it runs under your house, the house on the other side of you, the house you're under now where the party's going, and then two more houses. So in total, you, you can... Oh, it's probably, huge. It's about... All, gold runs under the five houses. Okay, now. And you, can, um, you actually can see from the inside, there's only one door on this vault, and it's roughly around your house. Um, alright, let's take a look at what's here, but I'm still wanting to speak to that oink down there and I point at the guy with the sword who seems to be directing people around. And I yeah, shout... I'm going to make sure nobody's taking any of these modern things. What are the modern things as we walk towards them? As you start running through to the more modern area, 
Um, there are guns, pistols, some rifles, and in one corner you can even see there is a fully equipped cannon. Where it, it almost looks like they, that's where there's like a, there's two stacks of cannonballs. One that's pristinely stacked, and the other looks like quite a few of them have been grabbed and there's a few missing sort of thing. Uh, ah, you have a point. And what am I seeing? Loaded guns in good condition? Or guns with ammo in good condition? Do you have any expertise in guns or anything? Not that I'm aware of, but I'll double wanna, check. But... If not, just roll as a straight intellect. Um... Nah. You, you couldn't Eight. tell. You, you, you look at some of them, some of them are a bit rusty, some of them look fairly clean. You wouldn't be able to say if they're in working order unless you wanted to try one. Um, <clears throat> How old's this guy? This guy with the sword that he's brandishing it around? He looks about maybe 20, 21. He looks All right, really so young. Possibly 15 or whatever in no, his he, eyes, that's he, fine. He, he, no, he's, <clears throat> he's definitely a, a, an older teenager. Most, most of the people at the party, you're talking a university <clears throat> age. And if you're American, that, that, that's around 19 to 22. Or so so I'll, I'll look at the last of you and see him. My interest is peak this could be quite a bit of a problem um have you got anything in mind well we could maybe get like a call out to the police get them to just come and shut this down this clearly doesn't look like they own the place and they're damaging stuff or we could just like knock their heads together and see if they'll run off which they probably won't there's a lot and they've been drinking we could like break a bunch of stuff or beat up the leader or I don't know. Hmm. I think we could have a word um, with the the leader. Why don't we scare the fuck out of them? Um As you're down in this modern area, you do notice in one corner, amongst all the crates and everything, there's a series of filing cabinets that look ever so slightly out of place. They definitely don't look old. Are they open or are they sealed shut? They're all sealed shut. If you if you went over to try one, they're, they're all locked. And I'm looking towards the hole where Pangolin is and I'm looking at the last that he's rummaging or trying to uh, file in cabinet and I'm like, Pangolin. Yeah. Has he? Have you got through the hole yet? Hang on. And I just drop the empty glasses on the floor and just walk through the hole. Yeah, it's <laughs> if there's a, people it's, in the way, I keep walking. It's a bit of a squeeze, but because a lot of the bits that are jagged in that are already half damaged, you can easily manipulate the hole to be ever so slightly bigger to get yourself through. When Pangolin fights the wall, Pangolin wins. <laughs> this is a very strange material. Very hard. I'll get through and sort of look around for a second, figure out what I get this and walk on to camp. Yep. Yeah, show it back and kind of just put my hand up with a phone, kind of shit, wave it a little bit or something. It's a bit darker down this corner, I assume. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because there's, there's not, there's not some cool stuff. Our friend here. Has found something that's locked. Is she a friend now? She's sort of following us around. Well, she's a bit older than the rest of it, and I and I and I say it frankly, she's got nice legs as well. Right, but she's sort of following us around. It's a bit weird. Now, and I whisper right to Franklin again. <laughs> Sorry, whisper, whisper you're sort Franklin. of following us around. It's a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I, she's kind of. 
got some mic. She's... What's your name, by the way, lass? Um, you can call me Red. That's the description. Technically, it's a colour. <laughs> well, what can I call you, big guy? You can call me Blue, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I just squint at you. <laughs> and what about Carlos, you? This is where we're going. Oh, uh, Gem. Name's Gem. I, I've just bought the house next door, which is the, that one. Did I point, is it near me or is it further away from? It's where further we are? away now. You're, you're yeah, yeah. away. You're as far away from your house as possible. Yeah. I yeah. point at Gem's house because I have distant sense and know where I am. Why were you throwing cannibals at your own house? No, he told me to. Yeah, it, it, listen, we're renovating it anyway, it's fine. That's why they've been a laugh. Like at the time. Yeah, it seemed like fun. It was, it, didn't want to upset the kids, but now I think you're right. You, well, those filing cabinets over there, what? Have you not. Gem, that's me. Oh, Pandolin. <laughs> 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 now, Do you want to take that break and get your coffee? It's, it's a, yeah, it's at this point we should point out that Cry is one of the most senior members of uh, the uh, DPRPG community that we're running. Carry on! Sleep deprivation, guys. It comes in many shapes and forms. Pangolin, do you, does, your ex, does your extensive ability to um, break things uh, also have a certain degree of finesse that allows you to pull things that would otherwise not want to be open. I didn't get lost those words, but I can smash stuff. He wants but... you to break the lock open. Yeah, but, right. but quietly and carefully. I, I, there might be something inside that we we might find that explains this shit show. Right. I'll walk up to the filing cabinet and just put one hand on the top and put one hand on one of the handles and just pull the drawer open. <laughs> the handle snaps off. <laughs> no. Saw <laughs> that coming. Don't drop right. it before. No. Nope. Um, I, I can't do anything. Sorry. I'll, I'll look at. I look at red. The, as this handle has snapped off, by the way, it has jagged the metal that it was attached to, leaving like coin-sized holes with, with jagged metal sticking out from where the handle was. Ooh. I'll stick my fingers in the holes and pull it off. <laughs> yeah. You you very easily shred this door. Filing cabinet. Oh, never mind, I've got it open. That's <laughs> oh, subtle, I like it. And as, as you clink and open this, it is full of paper. All very neatly little folders, all alphabetized. Oh, I was expecting something fun. What sort of filing cabinets do you open? <laughs> I'll just grab a bit of paper at random and see what's written on it. Yeah, I grabbed some too. Uh, okay. Roll me perception, anyone who's looking at any of the paperwork. <laughs> yep. Both of you happen to pick up a folder and on the front of the folder both they both say the exact same thing kinetics top secret no well okay. and that is where we're going to take a very sharp break so Croy can get his coffee so Croy can get his coffee <laughs> so yeah so, we'll be back in 10 minutes, chat. Yeah, <laughs> we've not had the fast of yet, but I think we're not far off. We'll be back in 10 minutes. See you in a moment. I can't read this word on the front of this. <laughs>
you're deformed, I'm asking, is anybody deformed? <laughs> is there a church anywhere around here? I'm going to butt in. Sorry. <laughs> Is anyone Look, if anybody before? else wants to jump in... Epic. Shout out to Keen for that amazing little trailer that we managed to sneak mm. in just at the very end there. Thank Beautiful you for reminding of... me about that. Um, yes. So yeah, if, if you didn't already know, that is one of the new games that we've just recently opened up a section on Infinite Monkey Tales for. Um, Keen is getting ready to get that campaign up and running so if you are interested in that setting if you are interested by that trailer which you should be head on over to the infinite monkey tales and get yourselves into that group um keen will probably tell you all you need to know about it it's a very dystopian london Say dystopian, not dystopian, is it? Victorian it's London. Vi yeah, it's dystopian vi something else. Victor <laughs> sorry, Victorian <laughs> London, um, where it's like similar to what I'm trying to think of that that film. Was it was it, was it Blade? Am I thinking of Blade? Blade was not set in Victorian London. <laughs> uh, <when> Blade. <laughs> Hey, so... Extraordinary Gentleman was set in Victorian <laughs> London. It didn't have vampires. It's old London with <laughs> vampires, werewolves, and everything. So yeah, it's. It's really, it's very juicy. I think Angie's d determined to get a, a, a vampire <clears throat> rolled up because which, I don't know if you know this, but Angie likes vampires. She's never mentioned it before or anything. Um, That's new, actually. That is new. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're interested in that, make sure you're over on the Discord and get signed up to it. And speak to Keen, he'll tell you all about it, I'm sure. Um, you might be able to join his game. To mutants and masterminds. So, said it right. As we left, you had all got into this this bunker of some sort, this vault underneath all the houses, and you'd come across these filing cabinets. And as you'd opened them and took out the first few items. Across the front of the booklets had the Kinetics logo in big writing, Top Secret. Typical. These guys, under our toes, literally. What does it say? It says Count Six, I think. I take another one out. <laughs> um. This one is just a lot of text. You skim through it, the, it's just talking about strategies and maybe, you know, some sort of argument between two people over a certain thing. Unless you want to read into it, it's, it's just a load of writing. It's almost like an essay. I look at Red. The. You know this was here. Is that why I you're know. here? Well, I thought something was going on. 
Um, I heard things get thrown, so I decided to invite myself into this party, and I did not expect this. And where do you stand on the debate of kinetics being an utter bunch of fascist? Why? I not catch my catch my tongue at that point. Uh, um, probably everything you're thinking and worse. Yeah. They Inside can, check. Uh, burn. Is she telling the truth when I hear her say that? You you rolling? Yeah. Seems it. Hmm. Hmm. She's gone very twitchy since kinetics uh, stuff's got pulled out, though. Hmm. As is myself and the blue one. Hmm. How much is there of this? There's five filing cabinets. And it's dark here, right? It's very dark, yeah. Turn the lights off. I turn my... Turn my torch off. Right. Is it oh. pitch black? Look it, around. It's not white. quite <laughs> pitch black. It's, it's very dim. Most of the candles and all the other kids' torches and that are at the other end, but there's... There is a torch near you that's projecting on the wall opposite you. And a I'll just walk over to it and stand on it. Yeah. <laughs> it breaks. Um, and I'll smash the lantern as well. Yeah. It's even more dimmer now, but you, it's not total pitch black because you're in like a metal bunker and the roof is mm. very shiny silvery, so it's reflecting a little bit of the light from the other end down to you. But you are no... somewhat da darkened. Pangolin, would you just stand Must about in the, in the middle of it there? Right. Um, I'll awkwardly walk over to like I'm in the kites. Red, would you do me a solid and just uh, go and stand next to him and just kind of guard this area just for a second, please? Uh, are you going to get changed? Yes, exactly right. Okay. I'll cross my arms like a bounce. Walk away. <clears throat> yeah, as Gem kind of stands where you dictate him, the, the corner where all the cabinets are. No, I'm Pangolin, he's Gem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pangolin, if you stand where Gamas, uh, the filing cabinets are somewhat plunged into pretty much sheer darkness now. And I, I walk up to them and grab two of them and I bathtub them into the space. Just so, uh, is that possible? Just outside the door, because I know, I know the space that I was in, and I know where it is in relation to where. You could your your own house is within distance for you. To yeah. If you wanted to. So could I? Um, yeah. Could I? You'd have to do it. These? You'd probably have to do it one at a time because they are fully chopped with paperwork and everything. So you know, you, it's pretty much a full log that you're. Tell yeah, but you could you could blink them into your house. It'll probably take you about two three seconds per cabinet. Yeah. So I just quickly blink them. Yeah. Um, and then I look at the guns, and I look at red. And then uh, I quickly blink the guns as well. Is there enough, or how many is there actually? That's a good point. I, I assumed it was a couple of boxes, but maybe it's more. There, there's probably around a dozen crates that are down in this area. Sick. That way, well, from you estimate, you're talking about a dozen crates worth, and they are double stacked, so you, you, they are big crates. Yeah, no, I, I just leave them, and I walk back up to, to Red and Pangolin. Right, I've uh, moved those offending items so we can take a bit of better look at them without these irks but uh, um, what are we going to do about those in a red, just your back red as this happens and you turn around you, you can just pretty much make out that the final cabinets are gone raise an eyebrow in the darkness I look back and go did you just nightcrawl this you don't know nightcrawl not a not cannon. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's an internet meme. It means something different in this world. <laughs> Once it uh, happens to the fan cup. Hmm, I just ignore her. And uh, look at Pangolin. Hey, Gem, they've got a cannon over there. 
I reckon that'll get those through your window pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, and then um, I can you lift that pangolin? I mean, that I've not tried, but probably it's not that big. Our man over there said we could take one thing. <laughs> That's true. I'm just going to walk over and pick up the cannon. As you do, the guy with the sword and the, the cape starts running over to you. So, sorry, mate. No no guns are out, allowed out. Uh, too dangerous. I've got to draw the line That's somewhere. That's not know. a gun. It's a cannon. It's a big gun, mate. Uh, how are you even lifting that. that? What? I work out. Just... Put it back and just be really careful because I think there's a there's a there's a crate over there with what what I thought was grenades. So just be a bit careful around this area, mate. Ooh, As grenades. Everyone's down. Yeah. I was gonna drop the cannon on the floor. <laughs> As you do, the whole <laughs> chamber shakes. Oops. And some of the crates where everyone is topple over and everything. And this guy with the saws just looking at you like. John, is it? You told me to put it yeah. down. <clears throat> yeah. John. Yeah. I don't. Uh, That's listen, me. I don't think it's a very good idea that you've got people in the garden who are throwing things through the neighbouring house. You might want to put that to a stop in case you know maybe well, no, the no, police. No one's bought the house next door. It don't matter. Yeah, it's sold. The sold sign went yesterday. So. Yeah, you probably want to get that checked just in case, you know, maybe the police might come round and find out what little bit of a party you're having down here with all these guns. The house next door ain't for sale. It's the the house two houses down that's for sale. The one next door's not been sale, it's been vacant for ages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was on auction. No, that was the house two down. I know because I, I, we were going to go for that one. How much so you did you ain't pay? got the wrong house, mate. How much did you pay for this place, or how much did your? He said, did he say his mum and dad had paid for it? Yeah, Aye. yeah, my, my dad bought it. I don't know. I don't care. What's money? I... Ah, I agree with that, but even still. But I was there at the auction. I, I, I waved a number and everything. Hmm. But I tried to bid for that other house, and I'm, hey, I promise you, my memory is better than yours. Two houses down, the one next door ain't for sale. No one's living there. I look at him and I walk down to where the door into my house is and then do I know anything about do I know anything uh, about Pangolin's ability to know exactly where we are not unless he's mentioned it to you now points at your house don't yeah? <laughs> you, you like say so you could just you know the the door in inside the vault is pretty much the only door there, so you assume that that's the one that leads into the house you room. And I go up, to, I go back to to John and I say, um, "You're a rich guy, right? You got plenty of money." Well, technically no. It's all my dad's really, but he don't care. He kind of ran off and never really came back, and big shot in America. Sends me a message. Uh, once uh, save, me the, save me the life story, pal. Tell you what, how about I give you a thousand quid right now and you give us ten minutes in here just by ourselves? You got it in cash? Yeah. And I take one of the envelopes out that I had been using um, the night before. Hand it to him. He looks at it and he opens it a little, sees the money. 10 minutes, that's all you want. Yeah. All right. And he turns around and he kind of whistles to everyone. <clears throat> everyone out, do the stock check. Bob, get them all out. And you see this guy who's holding 
a very long two-handed sword and with a chest plate and hat and he's like where are the boss guys out we go he's back upstairs for a bit let the boss do a check and he pushes everyone back through the hole and uh, it leads you to it Pangolin starts walking back through the hole seems like the right thing to do <laughs> uh, Pangolin yeah. Oh, oh, okay. That that door over there. Yeah. The one that you just about got through, but didn't. That's that your door. Would, does that, that's my door. Interesting. We've got the filing cabinets. I look at Red, so sort of just trying to size her up and see what she's really about, because she's clearly, she's, she's sus. There's something sus about her. <laughs> um... What we're going to do? Can we? Can you seal that? Can you seal that up, Pangolin? Probably. Is there I enough? I've got the cannon to put it in front of the door. <laughs> in front of the hall, even. <laughs> that would be somewhat. If if you position the cannon right, you would pretty much clog it up to the point of no one could physically get through. Yeah. Blocked. But they would still be able to see past the cannon. It wouldn't be a perfect seal or anything. Right, it's yeah. A, I wanted that cannon. I'll move the cannon and stack some crates up there instead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is there anything that can... can is, any, is there any kind of blast damage that can be pulled in or pushed in? or All, the, hold... all, all the sheared metal is going out of the hole. So if, if you mm. wanted to, you could probably pull the odd splintery section back in a little bit. Oh, hang on then. And I laboriously disassemble the crates again. And I'll walk through the hall to the other side and then push all the metal in from the other side. Yeah. Does that seal it? it, it it's, like I said, it's not it's not nowhere near a watertight seal or anything, but it's enough that no one would be able to get through and the, the cannon's pretty lodged when you leave it. Right. So it, it would take someone of you, you roughly your own strength to sort of dislodge that or anything. But right. people could still see through the gaps in between. And they yeah. can still pretty much hear whatever's going on inside if right. they were to listen. Um, I'll push all the metal it. shut and I'll walk back up the stairs and walk back to Gem's house and go down to Gem's door. Yeah. And I'll stand there for a second and go, oh. <laughs> um, and I, I look at I look at Red and I say, well, if you don't mind, uh, my house, just this way, um, we're not going to get out, so would you mind just following me? Yeah, just let me I w I w let me check two things. Hmm. Um, first thing I wanted to quickly check was are there, because this room's dark. Yes. But can I do a quick sweep to see if there are any cameras in here? Yes. If you wanted to. Yes, please. <laughs> Yeah, I, I won't make you roll perception like this. There's <laughs> no sign whatsoever. You check okay. like the obvious corners and everything. Um, you do. As you're just having a quick look around, you do spot something though. Um, the door that is the only door out of this vault. Do you see that there is a panel on the inside of the vault on the back of the door? Almost like some sort of maintenance panel. Um. I will go over and have a closer look at it. Yep. See if I can make out what this is. It's somewhat bolted on, but it's it's definitely in a different material to the rest of the bunker and everything. But it's basically on the door where where you would imagine a handle for a, this sort of door would be. Hmm. Um. I'm going to. Ah, it's bolted on. Um, so there's, well, there's no way to open it without tools, essentially. No. Yeah, you you need at least a set of tools to remove this panel or anything. How new do these bolts look? Do they look old? No. Uh, oh, the the walls and the doors and everything to this vault look very new. Hey, Gem. Come look at this. You wouldn't happen to have any tools on you, right? 
No. I usually hire people for that kind of thing. What have you found? <clears throat> well, so there's a panel here. If we can get it open, maybe we can get the door open. Hmm. I'll look at her. And I, um... I grab her hand as she's pointing out, and I, and I jump, I shift her through the wall. You, are you jumping into the basement or into the... Yeah, th yep. through, the, through, the, through the door into my basement, where the filing cabinets are. And Red. where Pangolin is. Very quickly, you get a flash. You were stood looking at the door on the inside, one second. And the next year, you're on the outside. I sort of blink and then look at him and just go... Hey, you could have asked. And I snatch my hand away from him. <laughs> so do you have any uh, tools? Yeah, probably upstairs somewhere. Right? I will go upstairs in an instant. Ah! <laughs> Hurry up, Excellent. then. Yeah, in the blink of an eye, <laughs> red disappears in front of you, and <clears throat> you feel this breeze rush past you. Mm -hmm. As this happens, heading up towards the upstairs area. Yeah, Gem just smiles. It's just like, he's, I knew it. Pangolin comes in. walking down the stairs. Hey, <laughs> Pangolin. Hey. A our, uh, our red friend. She's, uh, well, she's not all that meets the eye. Right. How how did you get out the door? You know, bathtubs. Right. But did you bathtub her, or is she still in there? <laughs> <laughs> She's upstairs getting some tools. She's oh, found something on I the door. Didn't see her go past. No, I think she's. Uh, can't quite work it out. I'm intrigued to find out. I'm going to spend the time to search this house for these tools while they're having this conversation. Um. You, you don't come across anything that looked like tools. The house is somewhat abandoned and emptied. Um, after realising that it's empty, I'm going to... Um, realising that we're now doing more obvious things, uh, I'm going to have a little costume change. Just get, take my backpack off, get my costume out, slowly put it... Well, slowly put for me, put it on... Put the visor on, put the backpack on, and come back to the top of the stairs, probably just as they finish this conversation. Yeah. You haven't got any tools. Gem. Yes. Uh, right. Um, when are you wearing something different before? Yeah, well, if we're going to be doing this stuff, I'd rather not have people see me. Oh, that makes sense. There's nobody here. What? Never mind. Um, and then I say, again. I say to her, um, now where where is it from memory? This is this is player not remembering. Where is the, uh, the registered insignia tattooed onto registered? It's on yes. the. It's it's usually around this part of the neck. Okay, so do I do? Do we see anything like that on red? No. No. Okay, so I figure she's all right. Um, maybe next door has some tools. And uh, what? We've got like spares and stuff. Yeah. What? What do you need? What tool do I need? Uh. Was it like a, a wrench or a or something like that? Would or a these, screwdriver? These were sort of bolted on, so you'll you'll need a spanner of some degree. It could do with a spanner. You can find a toolbox, probably find it in there. Hmm. Imperial metric. Right, okay. I'll go and see what I can find. And um I quickly Go back into the the room, the the 
the secret bunker. I, I, I should say, I, I know we haven't, I keep forgetting to bring this up, but in, in Mutant Masterminds, you all have these hero points and you all get one oh. at the start of an adventure. Mm-hmm. And you can spend them in any way that you want. And one of the ways that you can spend your point is to edit a scene, in which point you can change any feature of the scene that I've described to add or remove anything. Oh, could I use a hero point, please, to make it sure that the house is filled with tools somewhere under yes. the cupboard or whatever? Yes, yeah, so excellent. Yeah. You could spend your hero point, and fortunately enough, as as you came to this house, one of the things that did come in of some of your possessions of that is a toolbox. Mm. And fortunately enough, there is an adjustable spanner in that box. Right. Um, do you want me to try and open the door then? Well, I think it makes sense. We've got some stuff maybe to clear out. Uh, I wonder where... And we need to sort that room as well so the kids don't get back in there. Well, one thing at a time, eh? So, um, you, you want to take me back in there or have I got to get in there myself? Oh, oh, when she, when, uh, when she says that, uh, Gem just stands back and and says nothing and just points to the door. I, I, <sighs> I'd be interested to see if you could. <laughs> I'll go up to the door and I'll sort of put the tool into a pocket or rub my hands and sort of focus for a half a second and then just pass through the wall. <laughs> yes. Which nobody sees because she's moving. <laughs> <laughs> so you just see me prepare and then poof, gone. I look at you hear it. You hear me try to tap with the wrench on the door. See if you can hear that. <laughs> Pangolin. She got through the door. You couldn't. And I just I give him a wee kind of dick on the shoulder. No, she went through the door. I was trying to break down the door. There's a difference. And then uh, I I blink. I I bathtub into the into the room. I'll just stare at the door for a minute and then <laughs> walk up to it and just knock. You're not bringing the big guy through? Nah, it'll wind him up that he can't smash this down. <laughs> right. I'm um... going to start punching the door. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not going to do anything, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Trying to ignore the banging on the door, I'm going to try- use this uh, this spanner to open this hatch and see what's on the other side of it. Um. Takes you a few seconds. Well, no, it actually takes you no for no time at all. Um, you get the bolts off, and this panel lifts off. Um, one thing you do notice is it's quite well maintained. Um, it looks like it's almost like it's only you know it's all well greased. It's not dried up or anything. And in, as you remove this panel, what you're presented with is all the gears and cogs of the locking mechanism inside the door. Hmm. Does it look like any point of it could be manipulated to cause it to open? You know, as you, as you go and touch some of the cogs, you notice they're very, very fragilely loose in that you can very easily just manipulate any cog. Um, I'm going to... Attempt to turn some cogs. Yep. See what happens. <laughs> Try not catch my fingers. <laughs> yeah. You it, you. it really goes, and as you do it, you all of a sudden, after it spins around a few times, all the, and you see all the other cogs moving in sync with it, there's a click, and the door ever so slightly just pops towards you a centimetre. I move backwards uh, as soon as that happens, as I know Pangolin is still pounding on the door. Yep. And it may fly open. <laughs> yep. So th- this door very easily swings open. Got it open. 
Nailed it. <laughs> Find some finger guns at Pangolin. <laughs> Good job, Blue. I'll just Blue. walk through the door. Look for Game and go. There you go. Got it open. <laughs> nice work, pal. Yep. Man, yeah, kind of wink at red. I'll wipe my greasy hand on uh, on Gem. I so now give what? A disapproving look, and I say, nah, you could have asked first. <laughs> so, um, doors open. Now we've got a bunch of guns and weapons and kids who have got these things. What are we doing next? Well, you said you didn't want the kids getting the guns, and I, I think that's sensible. I think John there has probably had enough fun in this place. Is there anything that we can do to as, properly... As this has happened, I'd like you to all make a perception check for me. Uh-oh. Can't, can't see nothing, mate. There Take may be trouble please. ahead. Um... Red line. You're you're on the inside of the vault, and as the, as this is happening, you look at the back of the door, and you can just glimpse coming from inside the door. And you you're certain this wasn't there before the door opened. There's some sort of red flashing coming from within inside the door. From the the inside panel of the door, it's flashing. Yep, from amongst all the cogs and gears, there's a little red flash illuminating a few of the cogs. Is it a continuous flash, or is it getting faster? It's a beep, 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 beep. Can I have a close look at it, please? Yeah, you can stick your head in the door if you want. As sure. you... As you stick your head in the door, you can just about see, being lit up by this red flash, there's a lot of circuitry in this door. All sat neatly beneath all the cogs. Can I very quickly determine what this could be, perhaps? If you've got anything for technology or anything that you'd like to roll, otherwise just your I intellect. Can roll, I can roll technology. <laughs> 18. You can roughly tell that this is probably some sort of signal device that's emitting some sort of warning or something. You can tell there's like a little antennae on one of the circuitry and everything. You probably guess that this is clearly sending a signal to... Don't, you don't know what the signal will be or anything or what it means, but you, you can tell that... Whatever this is, it's designed to emit something. Um, I'll immediately turn around and go, Right, we've got a bit of bad news. It looks like by opening that door, probably whoever owned this, I'm going to go ahead and guess kinetics, probably know we're here, and the signal has just gone out. So, um, we might have company soon. Bollocks. It's a weird thing to put in your basement, Gam. Yeah. No wonder it. And I walk up uh, to the hole in the wall, um, and I shout to uh, to whoever's out the outside of it, looking in. Um, so, kids, uh, you probably don't want to be down here. Do you know who kinetics are? Whoever's standing there, I don't care. Yeah. On, on, from the other side of the wall, you can hear. Who shut the hole? Hello. Who's this belongs. There? This belongs to Kinetics. They're coming to reclaim it. You might want to not to be here when they do. I was told I could get a, a weapon. Can you pass one Again, through? Again, let me have a go. I just walk away. I'm gonna run up to the hole and shout at the top of my lungs. Oh my god! The blue guy just pulled the pin out of all the grenades. You are. Oh yeah, those grenades. Blue, punch the floor. Right. Oh, I'll just bend down and punch the floor. Let me go get John. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> just keep breathing. 
I don't think that I'll, worked. I'll put no. a hole in the floor now. I was going to awkwardly try and smooth it all. <laughs> Um, I walk back to the, the filing cabinets. Yep. Is there any, is there anything in the filing cabinets that Christ? There's what five filing cabinets? And you've only got one of the the, the actual drawers open at this point. Mm, yeah. Mm. Five filing cabinets. What are okay. these fuckers up to? And I quickly have a squiz through some more of the stuff on the top. Is there anything that that, that suggests what this is a filing cabinet of? Um, how long are you going to spend on this? Not long. Like, I just want to grab a few, chuck them on the floor. From the draw that you've pulled out, it seems like meeting minutes more than anything. A lot of it's got mm. date stamps, and a lot of it's got... A, a lot of stuff have been redacted out as well. But from what you can tell, a lot of it's just notes from meetings that might have happened. Never fails to amaze me how companies as sophisticated as those wankers at Kinetics still insist on cutting down trees and writing I, their notes upon them. I will say, as, as you're quickly glancing through, one of the dates of these meetings is like 1983. Hmm. All, all the meeting notes that you, you're gathering, they are old documents. Useless stuff. They're obviously not worried about it. They've probably forgotten it's even bloody here. Um, Pangolin, Red. Um, and I, I, I sort of say, um, we probably should at least take a, a, a distance on this one um, before the black vans arrive. Are we going to take these? Filing cabinets with us? We've only got one drawer open, there might be more stuff in the others. Hmm. If you can get them open, I can probably read through them before they get here. I would um, really skim them. Uh, uh, I look at... I look at Pangolin. Yeah, right. And I'll just sort of stick my hand into each drawer and pull it open. <laughs> Work the first time. <laughs> Uh, when they're open, I will try and skim read through them to see if anything stands out. Maybe specific wording or names or something. Yep. Um, there's there's nothing that rings any bells to you. You you, you pro you know you, some there's a few talk you like the locations are all sound like meters that are happening in London and whatnot. But well, there's nothing. A lot of it sound, sounds like more admin sort of meetings, like discussions on, you know, finances and company decisions and hiring and firing of certain personnel. There's nothing from this draw that looks important or significant. Hmm. Bollocks. I was going to stack crates in front of the hall again. This. Hmm. Roll me. Roll me another perception. Everyone? Everyone? Uh, anyone who's looking through the paperwork. Oh, that's not me. I'm stacking attention. boxes. <laughs> Redline, you. As, as you're skimming through these paperwork and everything, you come across one of the documents that's got a, a sticker on the front. And it, may, it simply says, Archive 2. And then it's got this address on that you're at. Archive 2. This must be an archive. Let me keep stuff. Aye. That definitely would suggest the use of the word archive. Um, well, it's not really worth losing our uh, freedom over, so why don't we just fuck off out of here? Uh, they will not probably be able to trace this house back to me, I guess, but who knows? It's kinetics. Um, 
the teenagers next door that they'll not be a problem um shall we uh shall we skedaddle i think you'll probably find that easier than the rest of us well do we want to leave this place um with these goods in working order there's a big box of grenades over there we could sabotage the place maybe avoid the hole where the kids are and just destroy the modern side well i was going to dig out the basement after all yeah great idea that sounds very exciting it does sound stupid and it could kill the kids if the hole gets blown out and if that cannon flies out it probably wouldn't be the best thing in the world hmm maybe we I was hoping to have a whole new sitting room down here with with VR space and and screens and a bar and a bloody hot tub and now I've got to ask Kinetics to kindly move their fucking sh out of it. I mean, I think Kinetics wants your house. Why was I able to buy it then? I've got a feeling that kid genuinely believed what he said about it not being for sale. Who did We'd you buy been... it off? That was an auction. I didn't myself? go there myself. My my people handled it, but but well, I bought it through a anonymous web order thing. Well, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. No. Do you wanna, no, it doesn't. Do you, Gem, do you do you cast an eye onto this sticker, or Redline? Do do you? actually say the address that's on the sticker. I'm probably flailing it around as I'm talking. Um, Just to say, maybe, maybe if there's one archive, there's probably another, and then I'll sort of pass it over to Gem. Gem, yeah. as you look at this, you see this sticker. That's not the address that you bought the house on. That's next door to the house that you bought the address from. Now look at it. So, uh, I look at I look at Pangolin and Red, or I take Pangolin's back at this point, shunting. Um, I struck some boxes in front of the hall again. So we bought the house next next door. We're in the wrong house. Wait, is that the house with the kids? Wait, you're in the wrong house. How'd you get a key? Is is the address the house did, that the kids are partying in? Did you get a key? So at this point, game, you, you remember having issues with the key and having to get a locksmith out to gain entry. <laughs> uh, well, good, good news and bad news. Right. Uh, Pangolin. That's me. It looks like we weren't throwing anything through our house. Um... But you may have well, just your house. Not our no, house. that that apparently uh, I bought number twenty one, and we are at number nineteen. Is there no number on the door? If any of you were to go and check this, this house actually doesn't have any number on the door. My GPS said it was here. If you were to check your GPS, it it, it that address does for some reason pinpoint outside this house. Right, so we're in the wrong house. Yeah, we've maybe... Wow. that That's an uncharacteristic mistake, I have to say. I'm usually a little bit more attentive to detail like that. It must be all these late nights. <laughs> <laughs> right, so do you still want me to knock down a wall of your house? Can we ignore this house? Can we leave... I think we should probably just go next door and, and uh, play the daft laddie uh, when the, the boys in black come round. 
Right. I'd rather not be here. Can you phase through? Oh, I can't phase through work. anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we want. I, I I think um, I look at the filing cabinets and I'm like. So you don't think there's anything in there, Red, that's of any interest? Mm. From the one I looked at, it was sort of boring meeting stuff. Archives, usually. Okay. Mm. Unless there was some sort of secret there about the founders of bloody kinetics that we could use against them, I don't necessarily know that there's much we can do with it. I say you, I you like... have only opened the first draw. Well, didn't, didn't uh, Pangolin start grabbing the other ones? Did you? I did. Careful, Pangolin opened all of them. Oh. <laughs> Pangolin opens the drawers again. <laughs> Clearly nobody else has hands. Um, I you, would check through them again. If you, if you, all the, yeah, all the drawers on that particular cabinet do appear to be meeting notes. Some of the other cabinets have stock inventories. And one of the cabinets has... A lot of folders that are redacted. And you glimpse a certain words like project, and one does catch your eye that does say mutant on it. Is there a date on it? All, all the dates on everything that you can find are roughly around the 1970s to the 1980s. Okay. Some of them have references to facilities as well, as in addresses for different facilities they have. I will make a pile of all of the paperwork that seems to have this important information on. How long are you going to spend doing this? How much paper? How long would it take a normal person to quickly check through everything? <laughs> Remember who you're dealing with. It's a lot of heavy text, and it's an old typewriter. It would probably take several hours per filing cabinet if you wanted to read through everything. Quick okay. to the conversion table. When I find the the stuff mentioning mutants and facilities, yeah. I, I presume that's in one filing cabinet on its own, almost. It seems to be, yeah. I would just say, again, this filing cabinet is full of gold. We need to keep this one. Oh. Right. Um let me think. And uh oh Christ. Limited options. Can I uh can I first of all listen out to see if there's anything that sounds remotely like the response team from Kinetics? You can't hear anything but the usual traffic. Mm. But you are aware that Kinetics don't have sirens or anything. Oh yeah, okay. Balls. Balls, balls, balls. Um. Oh shit. Is so the look music at... still playing next door? You can you can gently hear it through the walls, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe we should take a wall down. Hmm. Where's my car? Uh, you you were very fortunate enough to get a spot right outside. What am I driving? I'm not driving it. No, I'm definitely not driving something that can fit a filing cabinet. And there's I'm, no I'm gonna, chance. I'm going to tell you whatever it is. It's a rental because you don't own any cars that you've told me about or spec'd in. So <laughs> no, if, I don't. if you have got a vehicle, it's a rental. Yeah, it's fine. It's London. Um, yeah, I just look, um, and I, I see, uh, I, if this is what you say it is, then we should probably secure it somewhere that isn't kinetics, right? Yeah. And I grab the filing cabinet and I, I whisk it upstairs. Yeah. And I shout, this is, this is a do, I say, we need to get this outside. And then, oh, fuck! I pick up and I, when, when I get to the top of the stairs, um, I pick up the phone, um, and I uh, I text, um, 
The Grave Lady. The Grave Lady. Okay. Um, <laughs> widow. Widow. I, Widow, yeah, black. I don't know what's, what's her name. Weeping Widow. <laughs> Weeping Widow. Again, <laughs> you. you. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I actually phone the, the Weeping Widow. Yeah. And I give her, and I have a chat, a conversation, and say, um, tell her a little bit, very quickly, and ask her if she'd be possible to get round here without any, any uh, uh, coffin in the back, because we've got something that we need to transport. Yeah. She she'll tell you she she's on her way as quickly as possible. We need to store this cabinet somewhere that they won't find any suggestions. She tells you, by the way, she's about ten fifteen minutes away. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if they're gonna raid, so was the address on? Was it next door where they're having the party? Was that the address that was on the sticker? No, the address on the sticker is the house you're in. Okay. So if they're going to come and search this house, why don't we put it in the party house, like, in a bedroom? I don't think the youths are going to look through it. We could always just sit on it as well. We could just take it out the back. I mean, you own a house around here, apparently. Well, as far, as, far as you know... Again, the house on the other side to where the party is happening is would be the house that you technically bought. So, uh, um, I look to the back of the house and I say I might need to, to do this in a couple of in a in a in a bathtub to the back of the house, looking in the window through out through the window into the back garden of this house, which isn't the party house. Yep. I look into the back garden of the my house, which is yep. the one that I actually own. And a and a bathtub down to to that one with the filing cabinet. It uh, keeps disappearing. As you do, Gem, I'd like to just roll a, a little perception for me. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. As you do, and you leave the back of the the house that you're in. As you're on your way back from the first trip, you do notice. There's a pile of crap outside your house at the back now, and it's all the crap that's been thrown at your house. And amongst all this crap that's been launched at the back of your house, you do spot a load of numbers. Um, right. And this has caught my attention, but what I'm what I'm interested in is seeing if there's anywhere I can just stash this yeah. filing cabinet outside just temporarily while we actually get because I haven't seen inside this house, so I can't. Well, I, I can't. Yeah, you you it's the the, the house that you've are is pretty empty, but that that's the only thing that draws you to attention looking at the outside of the house. Some of the back windows are all boarded up, so you can't see into this property. Yeah. But like um, I said, there's just crap all at the back of your house, and that you know this this house that you thought was your house that's been launched at the back of the houses. So all the stuff, so some of the stuff that's missed that the, that's missed the house they were aiming at has gone into yes. the house that's next door to that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm looking at that. I'm going fucking kids, and I uh, um I I just look to a, a point under the stairs or anywhere that's possible that would just keep this in a bush or something. Just get it out of the eyes eye line. This, yep. this filing cabinet. There is a somewhat of a shed in the back garden of this of the property that you actually purchased. Um, okay, I walk over to it, open it if it is open, or yeah. just look inside if there's a window. Is it empty? It is empty. There's no window. It's a, it's a very old brick shed. Probably you, your best guess is there's some sort of old outhouse of the property. Yeah, a coal house or something yeah. maybe, but... Okay, um, so I, I the door's not locked or anything. It's just yeah, yeah, that'll do. Anything. That'll do. And I and I just go quickly, put my hand onto the the file cabinet, and make one final shift with that into that space, and I walk back out, and I and I appear back with Pangolin and Red. Yeah, it's it's a snug fit, but you could very you could probably fit all five in there. Yeah. But all right, all five. No, you I was just going if, for the. If you just want to do the other one, but it's big. Yeah, enough just that, a, yeah. 
So just the one that, that Red said was, was gold. Yep. Oh, it's Puck. You keep disappearing. It's disconcerting. Sorry, big guy. Uh, that one that you said was good is currently just there, but we need to kind of leave before kinetics arrive. Uh, um, you got anywhere any... to meet up? Next door. Are you able I to can't. go in and let us in? I've already, as so soon as you said next door, key. I ran. You do, and then got stuck at the door, probably. You do remember, again, when you purchased it, you were given a set of keys for the property that just didn't work on this one. <laughs> I'm not disturbed you weren't given a set of keys for the property, really. Um, and then I say um, to, to Pang, we'll have to um, get, I think probably the back garden would maybe be easier. Let's go out. At the back, you do remember at the back of the, the gardens to this house, there is a ginnel for a, that a car could probably fit down, sort of thing. Okay. Okay. Right. I'll walk towards the back door. Because I'm like these and... people, I use my legs. So, yeah. are you, Gem, are you going through the front door? No, I'm going round the back, okay. and I'm going. I just where the top where I saw it was all boarded up. Yeah. Where before, um, I didn't realize I had the key, so I take the key out and um, open the open the door and look in the house. Strangely enough, this door opens perfectly. And inside the house, it, it, it looks very identical to the house you were just in, but uh, but there's no furniture in this one whatsoever. Um, and I let Pangolin in. Hi. Nice house. I sat in the kitchen on the cabinet. <laughs> uh, give me a minute, and I, I quickly just go back to the... Just, Flip to the um, the outbuilding, grab the filing cabinet, and yep. drop it in the kitchen next to where Red is. With feet on it. <laughs> and that is where we'll end this episode. Um, I will tell you. Did even get a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> you spend about ten minutes in this house, and lo and behold. Um, Weeping Widow shows up with the hearse, and you safely transfer the file, you know, whatever filing cabinets you do into the hearse and everything. You, one thing that does get mentioned as as this is happening, it's probably Weeping Widow that mentions it as she gets into the house and everything. She makes a passing comment how that she'd just seen a kid taking off the numbers of the houses and it took her an extra a minute to find this actual house because none of the ones on the street seem to have any numbers on them. <laughs> and just as you finish loading up the hearse and it closes off and she's got the curtains out so no one can see in or anything, you do see a car coming down the street. A black van. And... You all quickly get into the hearse and you manage to get off without any attention being brought to you. Pangolin awkwardly looks down. <laughs> and that's where we end our mini episode. Mm. Oh. Mm. So, what are those gates up to? <laughs> what are they doing? I'm gonna bring them down. Bring them down. Yeah. I don't know if we are, but that's cool. I Unfortunately, like our bath our bath count is zero for this episode. It's such a shame. We've got a filing cabinet. We got filing cabinets that weren't far. Uh, yeah. So, par episode two, like I said, will be taking place most likely in the new year. Um, and we'll see what happens then. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's stream. Um, thank you to everyone who's joined, including Borga, our newest member to the Mutants and Masterminds gang. <laughs> Excuse me. So, well nice done. one. Cheers, Borga. If thank anyone's you. interested in the Mutants and Masterminds, I will say this again. Um, the way this is designed is it's very open for people to drop in and drop out. If you would like to become a hero in this world and possibly join future episodes and that get yourselves into the mutants and masterminds channel let me know 
Um, hopefully have some idea of your character if you can. Um, and then who knows, next time there are slots available, you could be bringing your character to life. In this... And they won't be called Gam. They... <laughs> yeah, they may be called Gam at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, if, if you're interested, make sure you do that. Otherwise, feel free to browse our other games because we have, we've got pl plenty going on. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you've truly enjoyed this this sidestep of an episode. Um, but, yeah. I think that's it. Uh, any of you guys need to say anything? Uh, I'll be on tomorrow doing some VR. I've got some house flipping to do, a different sort of house flipping in flipping. VR. And uh, so that'll be on 9 Make PM. sure it's the right house. <laughs> I'll get the keys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big help, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Go so that's check 9 out Fry's channel. I've just linked it in, wow. the, dis in the Twitch for everyone there. Yeah. Um, and one more thing is that we are... We played. One of the reasons I was up late last night was because we were playing Among Us, um, and uh, we've got a good group going. So if anybody is a player of that game, I'd never played it before, uh, so last night um, was great fun. Um, there is a um, there is a, a, a Discord that's set up. So if anybody would like to join in, there's there's a joining of communities from from Minecraft, from tabletop role playing games, from VR. And there's a sort of just getting together and having a shot with that fun game and, and having a laugh doing so. So if anybody would like to participate in that, just give us a shout in yep. any of our discords that you happen to be on that we are also on or drop us a DM and uh, we can get some games going with the Among Us all around the world. Australia, America, Europe, absolutely fantastic. All, some players of Infinite Monkey Tales and, and some from elsewhere, as I say. So it's a great crowd yep. and we'd love to have you along for some of that as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. I think me and a few of us were all in the Infinite Monkey channel chat the one of the other nights, and we were actually playing House Flipper, and we were enjoying ourselves. And we, we had a few people Not in deviance. their chat. Deviance. So if, you, if you see us in the main chat voice channel and you fancy dropping in on us and having a chit, um, chit chat or anything, please do so. We're there. You know, if we're in there, we're in a chatty mood, and we're. If you want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, you want to talk about Massive Mutants or any other game, doesn't even have to be tabletop. We're always open for a good chat. We're, we're a gossipy bunch, more than anything. So yeah, he does love his house flipper. Not seen that community challenge for a kilt yet, though. We'll see about that. <laughs> one, at, one at a time. One at a time. <laughs> Got to finish always. this one first. Otherwise, there'll be a backlog. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, and the, ne Infinity. the next episode on this channel will be next Friday, so stay tuned for that. No worries. Well, hope you all have a good evening, and we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.